are the legendary floating mountains of Hallelujah from James Cameron's Avatar. The moment I finished this movie, I was completely obsessed with putting one of these legendary floating mountains in a terrarium. I think we all know where this is going. Greetings, life forms. I had purchased a couple of used Exoterra tanks, 8 by 8 by 12 The first tank went on to become the Guild of Gaconia. Both tanks had blacked out sides, which was perfect for the Guild of Gaconia. The Pandora build is very different, however, so I need to remove the black acrylic paint on the back of the enclosure. The sides will be covered in expanding foam, so there was no need to do that. One eternity later, I managed to peel the acrylic off. Since the bottom portion is aquatic, there will be no need to remove the acrylic paint from the bottom portion. Archie, the terrarium supervisor, was not impressed so far. Now that the enclosure is ready, it's time to create the skeletal system. After getting the measurements a couple of times, I used the pump itself to see if the measurements were correct. I cut along the side of the corrugation. This allows me to bend the flat piece to create a corner. I then cleaned the area with rubbing alcohol to ensure the silicone has an optimal surface to adhere to. Next I had to cut the areas where water would flow into the pump. I siliconed two pieces of carbon fiberglass window screen mesh. Oh, that's a mouthful. This will protect the pump from the big chunks of debris. I then use hot glue to keep the corner piece in place while the silicone cures. The next day, it was time to figure out some water mechanics. I used the tissue paper and super glue method to split the pump output into three airline tubes. I want three water features, or three waterfalls if you will. One to cover the right wall, one to cover the left wall, and one that's dripping from the floating mountain. I cut holes into the plastic cups, upcycled from jelly cups. These will serve as a water reservoir fill up the water and create a trickle effect. We then bring the enclosure to its back and begin the foaming. I use Great Stuff Pond and Stone. It's more expensive than the regular Great Stuff. I prefer to use it because the black just helps blend everything in the background. You know, in case you miss something here or there. If it's black, it's gonna be less obvious than if it's yellow or white. Starting with the sump area. I do end up using regular Great Stuff expanding foam for certain areas, but for all of the aquatic portion, I used the Great Stuff Pond and Stone. After foaming both sides and letting them cure overnight, I start cutting the foam. This is done to expose the spongy area, which makes for a better surface area for silicone to adhere to. You can't have a floating mountain terrarium without a floating mountain, so I used Dragonstone to create the mountain. Dragonstone is very sediment heavy, however, and it does need a thorough cleaning. I used a combination of expanding foam and dragonstone, that rhymes, to create the floating mountain. This will help reduce the weight of the structure while holding everything together. Did you know that Pandora is a real place? Not the Avatar world. Pandora is actually one of the moons of Saturn. Do you know how many moons Saturn has? Let me know in the comments below! To attach the floating mountain, I will be using driftwood and expanding foam. After making sure the depth is suitable, I used silicone to glue the driftwood to the structure I just made. While the silicone cures, I worked on the waterfall structures. These three plastic pieces will serve as the waterfalls, tiny as they are. I add some spider wood to get a sense of how things looked. With some of the topography in place, I do another fit test. All looked good, so I move on to glue the dragonstone to the plastic base. All the side structures were ready, but I wanted a small land area in which to plant some rooting plants. I made a structure similar to the waterfalls. This one, however, needed to pass water through. After finishing the structure with dragonstone dust, I cut a slit and put a window screen to prevent substrate from getting to the aquatic area. I then added some more dragonstone to the mountain before siliconing the cocoa fiber. It was time to assemble the structures. I start with the waterfall on the left side of the tank. I add rocks as I go along to blend everything together. I then bring the tank to its back and attach the land area. I then move on to the aquatic area. 
a silicone sponge filter media to the area where the water enters the sump. This will help keep even finer debris out of the water pump and help with general maintenance. I also used this driftwood to create a bridge between the right wall and the land area. It was time to set up the floating mountain. I used small rocks to balance the structure and great stuff gaps and cracks to glue the structure to the background, as well as fill in the areas I missed or the areas that needed filling. And just like that, we have a floating mountain. Before we move on, I'd like to thank the sponsor of this video, coffee. The more of you hit the subscribe button and the like button, the more coffee I can afford to drink. Thank you, coffee, for sponsoring today's video and every day's consciousness. <laughs> With the floating mountain in place, I work on the rest of the background. I silicone a mix of cocoa fiber and small pebbles on all the exposed foam. This not only ties everything together, but also gives additional structural support for the build as a whole. I had most of the background done, but before it's finished, I needed to address the screen top. The screen was rusted, which means it can only get worse from here. I do this process to almost all of my Exoterra tanks. It is an absolute hassle to do this. and. The screen is glued quite tightly and it's also rusted and sharp so you gotta be careful and wear gloves not like this guy over here i pre-cut a piece of acrylic as well as plastic window screen mesh after getting the fit i add silicone and press both in place before setting up the aquatic area i use a razor blade to remove extra silicone left over from the background process and here is the first water test. Now for the aquatic area, I use aquarium gravel to build a slope towards the back. This gives a very nice sense of depth and sense of scale to the entire build. Then cap that gravel with crystal white aquarium sand. I add a few details here and there and add some dragonstone. I add some dragonstone at the bottom to give the sense that some rocks may have fallen from the floating mountain. Time to fill it up, turn on the pump, and see how it looks. Did you know that the legendary floating mountains of Hallelujah were inspired by the Jiang Jiaji Mountains in China? They don't float, but are still quite the sight to behold. I add some duckweed and java moss to help filter the water. This is what I had by the end. If you enjoyed this build and think Archie would be proud, I would appreciate it if you hit the like button so this video can spread to more people. Thank you, dearest lifeforms. These little guys are Kadam. Forest spirits from the awesome anime Princess Mononoke. They will look after Pandora in my absence. 